I'll be right back. Don't, don't, don't. No. When the shelter sent Tofu home with us, they told us he was an escape artist. Tofu has some pretty bad separation anxiety. He's just so determined. He will be by your side wherever you are. I just happened to check the security cameras and he's on top of the kitchen counter. It was insane. I could not believe it. I was like, what is happening? How did you even get up there? He was immediately glued to my side like I was his protector. Hello. Good boy, I'm coming. Hi, bud. He was just really reserved. He was so skinny. Look at this. A Great Dane should not look like that. He was definitely under 100 pounds at the time when he should be weighing 110, 115. I can see his ribs and his spine. Good boy. When we first brought Tofu home, he was really shy and super nervous. What do you think? It's okay. Explore a bit. He had been surrendered to the shelter. The woman who surrendered him mentioned that he was partially blind and deaf. Pretty sure he can see well out of his right eye, but not so well out of his left. It took him a little bit to get used to my dogs. He actually warmed up to my Great Dane first. They were kind of like best friends. Tofu feels better when she's around, don't you, baby? So I crated him with my Great Dane suit in our laundry room. You're gonna take care of Tofu? <laughs> I would watch Suit and Tofu in the cameras while I was gone. And it would routinely be Tofu crying. And then Zoot would lay down next to him. And when he would finally lay down, she would rest her head on him. It was just like the super cutest thing to see. She just really likes being there for them. No, wait a second for your food. What is this? Yeah, buddy. I basically just started feeding him three cups of food three times a day. Good boy. Good boy. And I did not restrict him in any way as far as treats or anything. So it was very easy. I call this pre-wash. He put on weight pretty fast. Maybe there's some treats in there for you? What's in there? Yeah. After like a month and a half, he was starting to fill out much nicer. Good boy. Tofu. Do you want a puppuccino? Do you want a puppuccino? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. When I make a latte for myself in the morning, I'll pour like a little bit of extra milk. They love it. They'll absolutely go crazy for it. Good boy. As he stayed here longer, he grew in confidence. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes. Oh, I love you too. Tofu, being the best snuggler there ever was, was such a lap boy. He's trying to sit in my lap. He's holding his stuffy because he's excited. Are you excited, boy? Probably the Great Dane is like the best weighted blanket there ever was. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He was just super comforting. <laughs> he really, really wears his heart on his sleeve and will just pour all of his love into you. Hi, buddy. Everyone really wanted me to adopt him, but four dogs is a lot and it would make it even harder for us to foster again. Good boy. We found his forever home. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you so much. Yeah, that's your new family. Yes, buddy. They decided to rename him Yeti because he's all white and frosty looking. <laughs> he is already doing amazing. Yeah. I'm just super happy he's with them.